Welcome to iLecture Online. In our second example, it's very similar to our previous problem, except in this case, we're trying to find the acceleration of the block. Again, the force is applied at an angle, which means it's going to have both a vertical and a horizontal component, which, of course, will affect the friction force between the block and the surface. Notice the kinetic coefficient of friction is 0.2. What we want to do first is divide this force into their x and y components. So we have a vertical component. This would be F times D. Of course, that would be opposite of the angle, so therefore that's F sub Y, which is F times the sine of theta. And here we have the horizontal component, which would be F in the X direction, which is equal to F times the cosine of theta. Now we also want to identify all the forces acting on the block besides those two components. We still have the force due to gravity acting downward, which is mg, and the block also pushing down on the floor besides its own weight. This vertical component is transferred through the block to the floor, so we also have a force downward, which is the force in the y direction, which is f times the sine of theta. So both of these forces are pushing down on the surface. One of them is the weight of the block, the other one is the force, the vertical component of this force pushing through the block to the floor. We then have an opposite force, a reactionary force, the force, that what we call the normal force pushing back. So the normal force is going to be equal to the sum of these two. It's going to be in the opposite direction, but the magnitude is going to be mg plus f times the sine of theta. That will cause a friction force, a friction force pushing in this direction. And so the friction force would be by definition the normal force times mu. And in this case, the normal force is mg plus f sine theta. And then we multiply that times mu. Now we're ready to set up our equation. Since we're looking for the acceleration, we want to use the equation f equals ma, or solving this for a, the acceleration is equal to the net force acting on the block divided by the mass of the block. The net force will be all the forces aiding the acceleration minus all the forces opposing the acceleration divided by the mass. The force aiding the acceleration would be this component of the force, F sub x, which is F cosine theta pushing to the right. And all the forces opposing in this case would be the friction force pushing to the left. Mg plus F sine theta multiplied times mu. Now you can see this is the force pushing to the right, the x component of this force, minus the friction force pushing to the left. Take the whole thing and we divide it by the mass m. All right, now we're ready to plug in the values. Let's move up here. We can now say that the acceleration is going to be equal to the force, which is 50 newtons, multiplied times the cosine of theta, the cosine of 30 degrees and subtract from that the quantity mg, which is 4, times 9.8, plus the force, 50 newtons, times the sine of 30 degrees, and the whole thing multiplied times the coefficient of friction, which is 0 0.2, and then we divide all that by the mass, which is 4 kilograms. So the acceleration equals Starting from the back, so 4 times 9.8 plus 50 times sine of 30, which is 0 0.5, so plus 25, and we multiply it times 0.2. We add that to or subtract that from 50 times the cosine of 30 equals, all right, and divide by 4 equals, and it turns out the acceleration would be 7.6 two meters per second squared. All right, so that's fairly straightforward. The only thing we have to watch out for is that the normal force is simply not going to be just the weight of the block, but it's going to be the weight of the block plus the y component of the force pushing against the block, trying to accelerate it. And so therefore, we have to add those two together to get the normal force, which will then translate into the friction force. 
So we're going to see some examples that are a little bit more complicated than this, but at least you begin to see the trend of how to handle this type of problem. And that's how it's done.